Hey, what's up, y'all? Finally back in the lab doing videos. I was so far behind, I just stopped recording all together, which means that I probably had about 30 different shoes that I didn't do videos for, and I apologize. So, but you wouldn't even have known that if I didn't say it, right? So, never mind. Don't even trip. What do we have here? We have a black box made like a big silver box, which is what this shoe typically comes in is a silver box. But we have here a big giant black box and it's a size 18. And that's why we have such a big giant black box with black paper and then a layer of white paper. One of the things that you'll never see, a fake size 18. Not gonna happen. Um, so we know this joint is good to go. The day the Asians start making fake size 18s is the day I'm done with sneakers, man. Because at that point, they just want all of the money. I'm uh, gonna pull this paper out real quick just to see, you see the wind blowing. I got my fan on. The temperature got really hot. I'm just trying to make sure there's no uh, stamp inside of the box. And just like the Air Jordan 14, in every colorway, there's no stamp inside of this box. So all of that talking, and I don't have the shoes up here for you to look at. It makes me feel bad. So I'm gonna fold all of that up, put that there, sit these here, so you guys can get a good look at them because I think it's one of the better looking. Now the outsole itself is not rugged enough for, you know, being a winter release, but it's a winterized version of their Jordan 14, man. It's, uh, these are not completely perforated all the way through. You can't really see through it. You do have the air vents, right? For the Ferrari air vents, you have those air vents that you can see through. So. If you step in a puddle of water, you could get water in your shoe. Um, just trying to go through this thing, man. I really love this color, this brown and red. And I'm not a big fan of red at all. Um, your brake lights on the back of the shoe, right? A lot of people don't realize that those are brake lights and that there's tire tread going up the back. Remember, it's a Ferrari, but it's the Air Jordan. Uh, 14 Retro SE. Uh, the SE, it's not just this SE. It's every Jordan brand shoe just about um, is going up in price. And you can think basically resellers. I mean, I'm a reseller, but I'm not the type of reseller that's really screwing stuff up, man. I only sell things that are pretty, is general release stuff, you know, so I have a pretty good outlet with a team of people that I work with there. I get shoes at the right price and I'm not killing people on prices. So I'm not trying to justify my resale. I'm just saying I'm not the person that's causing all of this drama where Nike sees all of this money that they're leaving on the table. That's not me. But they are getting their money. Why am I saying that? Back to the size. Um, funny. They actually took my, uh, my name. Arkeo. If you guys see above me, you see the name of the business arch. I wonder if that's like a subtle shot at me or something. Do I think that highly of myself? Yes, I do. Um, because all of my stuff is arch CEO. And this is almost exactly A-R-C-H-A-E-O. That's crazy. Archeo Brown. I'm pretty sure that means something more than that, man. And I should really get off of myself. And um, that didn't sound good. Maybe I'll cut it out. Maybe not. I'll just keep going. Uh, turn this around so you guys can see the additional set of rope lace shoestrings. You got the red in here, and then you have the black in the bag, so you can switch it out if you're not a big fan of those red laces, which, obviously, I'm not the biggest fan of that, but I really do love this shoe. <laughs> I can't even tell you why I like it so much. It's seamless. I would assume that it's waterproof. I did no research on this to look it up. Um, Archeo Brown Multicolor. And this is where I was going. The style code D O nine four zero six two hundred. The um, size eighteen. I won't get into the UBC because, like I said, if the Chinese are bootlegging and doing size eighteens. Everybody just stop buying shoes because it's a wrap. Things are getting way out of hand. Um, 
what has gotten out of hand is the price. It's two hundred and ten dollars. It's not a special release or or Black Friday or a Christmas release. This is Jordan, man. That said two hundred and ten dollars, and that's a twenty dollar increase from one hundred and ninety dollars. But I have a feeling all of the shoes are being increased. I told you guys a few months ago about the fact that the Jordan 1 mid and the lows are all bumped up 5 to $10 now. So that's just happening. It's something that we all are going to have to deal with who are wearing Jordans a lot. And uh, I'm, once again, wearing Carhu, so that's not me in this regard. Um, let's get back to the shoe and go to the dates of production, which are... Uh, what is that? 03, 03, 21, 2, 05, 27, 21. Small code is LN4, and that's made in China. It's just a really big, pretty brown shoe, man. And I'm sure somebody out there has got a Louis Vuitton, like, throwback Dapper Dan jacket. They can rock with that and be old school to the death. But, you know... I just wanted to make sure I got a video in of this shoe because I think it's a really interesting, unique, and this is not even a jewel, jeweled um, Ferrari logo on here. It's flat and rubber. So yeah, this is definitely probably winterized, but if it was, if it is winterized, then when you look through here, you see that vent where well, you can still see me through there. You see that vent? If this is really winterized, that vent shouldn't be there. So maybe that's just a bad design. Q point for this Jordan 14, but I don't know what you guys think about that. I like it. I like it a lot. Am I going to buy a pair? Probably not. Should I make this pair available? By the time I edit this video, which these are a new batch of videos that I'm doing, still probably going to be a month away and these will be long gone, so I shouldn't even bring it up. I probably should do a better job of getting the shoes onto the website, you know, so I can give you guys better deals. And I've been saying that for years, and I still haven't done it because StockX and Amazon and all of these outlets, man, I moved the shoes so quickly through there that it just doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I'm rambling. See you guys on the next one.